quality time, quality praise, you know, just quality, um, just to spend time, quality time in God's presence and to bless him and exalt him today. Um, this is Ignite. This is a prayer hour of the Elevation Church. If you're joining us for the very first time, I say a big good morning and welcome. It's so, um, it's so great to have you here this morning, joining with us, you know, just, you know, praying along with us. We love to pray with you and we love to pray. So it's exciting to have you here this morning. And I trust that um, you'll have an amazing time. Um, don't forget, um, as we pray this morning, I'm going to need you to take note of some of the scriptural references that we will make, that we will use, you know, and um, um, if any of them resonates with you, you know, for any reason, in any way, I'm going to need you to just um, take note of them so that you can continue to meditate on them in the course of the day and allow God to continue to gain, give you strength and just to amplify his voice to you. All right. Recording in progress. I apologize. Um, so just please take note of the scriptural references and continue to allow them to minister to you as you continue along your day. Also, I want you to note that um, we like to share testimonies here at um, Ignite. If you have a testimony you'd love to share with us, please go ahead and share it. You can share it in the comments, share it in the Q&A. Just title it, um, title it um, testimony. If you, if you put the banner there, testimony, I'll be able to see it, pick it up and read it, share it with the people of God. Someone is waiting to hear your testimony because um, they want their own faith to also be ignited, you know, because God is um, multiplying his power, multiplying his grace, you know, to the people. Um, someone needs to connect with what you are testifying about. And I know that God will richly bless you as you share your testimony. So don't, don't forget, please, as we continue, just go ahead. If you remember, as we sing, as we pray, as we share and challenge each other, just go ahead and share your testimony. Is that all right? Amen and amen and amen. Um, I'm going to let you know when in the course of the session today, we're going to share testimonies, when we're going to take personal prayer points. We also take personal prayer points and we'll do that together in the course of today. Amen, amen. So once again, let me say a big, big, big welcome to everyone joining us um, we are available on so many platforms. MixLR, a big shout out to everyone on MixLR, a shout out to everyone on YouTube, um, Facebook, and of course here in the Zoom room, the broadcast center, right? <laughs> I say big good morning and welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's get on with it, right? Um, and let's just go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. It's always a great place to start saying, thank you, God. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for how faithful you are. Thank you, Lord, because you are too faithful, too mighty, too beautiful, too wonderful. There are no words to describe the goodness of our God. So can someone just start out this morning just describing God in his beauty, in his faithfulness? How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. All oh, will see how great, how great is our God. Oh, how great, how great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. All will see how great, how great is our God. Over and over and over we sing, how great, how great is our God. Sing it with me, sing with me, how great is our God. All oh, will see how great, how great is this God. Now he's the name above all names. Sing that part if you know it. Name above all names. Say you are worthy. You are worthy of our praise 
and my heart will sing and my heart will sing how great is our god come on one more time say you're the name above all names you're the name above all names yes you are worthy you are worthy of our praise and my heart will sing and my heart will sing how great is my God. Come on, sing it again. How great, how great, how great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. All will see how great, how great is our God, oh, and my heart will sing, how great is my God, I will worship you forever, love you forever, because this God is too good, oh, you're too good. I will worship you forever. I will serve you forever because this God is too sweet, oh. I will worship you forever. Love you forever because this God is too great. Oh, you're too good. Oh, you're too kind. Oh, you're too marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. You're too faithful too faithful lord you're too good oh come on someone sing to him in a new song just worship the lord your maker because this god is too good oh and one more song you're too faithful to fail me ah, come on sing it to him this morning ah you're too faithful to disappoint me you've proven yourself in my life and i've come to realize you're too faithful to fail me he's too faithful too faithful yeah you're too faithful to fail me too faithful to fail me, God. You're too faithful to disappoint me. Oh, you've proven, you've proven yourself in my life. And I've come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. You've proven yourself in my life. You've proven yourself in my life. And I've come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. Yeah. You know, I know we sang this song to God this morning, but I sense in my heart that God is singing this song for someone here. He wants to remind you that he's faithful. He's too faithful to fail. He will not fail you. He will not fail you. He will come through for you. The God you serve is mighty. He is faithful. He is good. He is kind. He's loving. He's a mighty God. He's too faithful and he will not fail you. Amen and amen and amen. Lord, we thank you. We bless you today. It's always such a privilege, Lord, when we receive a word like this from you, an assurance from your spirit that you are still God. You are still good. 
you are still kind. You are still amazing. You are still amazing. The amazing God. We worship you and we bless you. We come before you today with thanksgiving in our hearts. We come before you just declaring that you are the faithful God. We have no reason to doubt you in any matter concerning our lives, in any matter concerning our well-being, in any matter concerning our children, our, 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 you know, our careers, our businesses. We have no reason to doubt you. You are the faithful God and we worship you today. Be hallowed in the midst of us. Be exalted here, mighty one. You are the great and mighty God, and we acknowledge you here today. Be thou exalted now and forever. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Can I hear you say amen and amen and amen and amen. God's promises are yes and amen. Hallelujah. The faithful God will show up for you, and he will demonstrate his faithfulness to you, in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Welcome once again. I won't get tired of saying that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to share your testimonies this morning and please engage as we pray. We started out yesterday, you know, just praying um, along the lines of, you know, just leveraging the voice of the prophetic, right? Just leveraging revelation knowledge, the voice of God for prophetic advantage and our scriptural references were psalm 29 if you remember psalm 29 from verse 5 to 8 and it talked about how the voice of the lord thunders you know it breaks cedars the voice of the lord you know makes the mountains to skip makes the cedars of lebanon to skip like rams it says lebanon and syrian like a young wild ox the voice of the lord divides the flames of fire the voice of the lord shakes the wilderness it shakes the wilderness of kadesh hallelujah there's something about the voice of the lord and when the voice of the lord comes through to us ah what an amazing thing it is we must not stop being in wonder and in awe of the voice of the lord amen I just want to remind someone this morning, never, never take it for granted when the voice of the Lord comes to you, because in the Lord's, in the voice of the Lord, when the Lord speaks, there is power in every word that he speaks. Hallelujah. And I testify today that the voice of the Lord will come through to you and it will indeed break apart every difficult thing that has stood in the way for you. The voice of the Lord will come through and will give you clarity, direction in Jesus mighty name. Amen, amen, and amen. I hope you were in the meeting yesterday because I'm not really going to repeat what was said yesterday. Um, I've just had a few meditations on my heart that I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to continue on from that conversation yesterday. Um, PG led us in prayers, just asking us to um, sense that it's a season where everyone should be prophetic. Amen. Everyone should have a prophetic grace. Everyone should be prophetic. And I just wanted to show us in scriptures that that is absolutely God's heart and God's intention towards you and I. We do not live in a time and a season where God only wants to talk to one or two or three people, where God only wants to talk to the pastor Godmans and the pastors, the apostles, the prophets of this age. No, 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 no. God wants to talk to each and every one of us. God wants to speak to you like he speaks to his friend. He wants you also to manifest a prophetic grace. You may not be a prophet, so to speak, but God wants you to walk in a prophetic grace. And I'll show you something from scripture that lets you know that this has always been God's mind, always been God's mind. Hallelujah. If you read, if you open with me in the, from the book of Numbers 11, Numbers chapter 11, I'm going to read from verse 16, but I'm going to give you a bit of a background before I read 16 and 7 and 17. Now, Moses, you remember Moses, you know, mighty Moses, you know, he led the children of Israel out of bondage, you know, from Egypt. And as they progressed on their journey, you know, Moses bore the, you know, bore the burden of the people, you know, his father-in-law came to visit him, Jethro came to visit him um, once and saw the way people would line up from morning and Moses would be dealing with their complaints, their disputes. And he called him aside and said, look, you can't do this alone. You can't do this work alone. You must delegate, hallelujah. So that's the background to this scripture that I'm going to read. From verse 16 of Numbers 11, the Bible says, so the Lord says to Moses, gather to me 70 men of the elders of Israel, 
whom you know to be elders of the people and officers over them. Bring them to the tabernacle of meeting that they may stand there with you. Then I will come down and talk with you there. I will take of the spirit that is upon you and I will put the same spirit upon them. Hallelujah. The same spirit upon them and they shall bear the burden of the people with you that you may not bear it yourself alone. Then Moses goes ahead and he consecrates the people and said, tomorrow, tomorrow, God is going to do this tomorrow, right? So Moses consecrates the people. I'm going to jump to verse 24. Now it happened, you know, reading from verse 24 on, it happened that while Moses had told these elders, 70 elders to come to the tabernacle the following day, because God wanted to do an amazing thing. It happened that two out of these elders did not come to that assembly. They were back in the camp. But um, an amazing thing happened because 70 of them had been consecrated to the Lord. It didn't matter that those two were not there at that moment. When God was going to pour out his spirit, he poured out his spirit upon all of them. So much so that those two that were not gathered there, they were in the camp. They began to prophesy. I'm reading from verse 24. So Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord. And he gathered the 70 men of the elders of the people and placed them around the tabernacle. Then the Lord came down. Someone say that with me. Then the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to him and took of the spirit that was upon Moses and placed the same spirit upon the 70 elders. And it happened when the spirit rested upon them that they what? They prophesied, although they never did so again. That was an Old Testament example of something God wanted to do for us and with us in the New Testament. But it happened that they prophesied, even though they only did it that once. Now in verse 26, the Bible says, but two men had remained in the camp. The name of one was Eldad, the name of the other was Medad, and the spirit rested upon them and they were prophesying even right where they are, where they were. And a young man ran and told Moses and said, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. So Joshua, you remember Joshua, zealous Joshua, soldier Joshua, you know, you know, Joshua didn't have time for rubbish. If this man, if these two men will not come to the camp, they should be excluded. So Joshua, Moses' assistant, one of the choice men answered and said, Moses, my Lord, forbid them. Verse 29. Now, this is a verse I feel that really explains to us what God wants to manifest for us in this season. Moses said to him, are you zealous for my sake? Oh, that all the Lord's people were prophets and that the Lord would put his spirit upon them. That really is where we're just going to go ahead and launch our prayers off from today. That all of God's people were prophets and that the Lord would put his spirit upon them. Now you and I know that this scripture was fulfilled in the book of Acts. Hallelujah. Acts of the Apostles chapter 1 and chapter 2. We realize that the Bible says in chapter 2 of Acts of the Apostles, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, The apostles were gathered together in one room. They were in one accord. They were praying together. And something amazing happened. The promise that Jesus made, that I will send you the Holy Spirit, it was manifested in the midst of them. And as those men were gathered in that room praying, the Holy Spirit was poured out. There came the sound of a mighty rushing wind. Ah, And the Holy Spirit came upon them. And there appeared upon them tongues of fire. And every man began to speak in other tongues. This morning, I need you to know that the spirit has been poured out upon you and I. God said, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. He says, your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your your old men will dream dreams. I will pour it upon your men servants and your women servants. He said, everyone will will, will be a participant. Everyone will be joined in this flow. Can you lift up your voice this morning and just begin to declare, Father, that all of God's people would be prophets, that all of God's people would be prophets. Father, that I would begin to function in a prophetic grace in the name of Jesus, because God wants to speak her. God wants to do a new thing. He says, shall you not know it? He wants you to know it. This morning, I want you to begin to declare, Father, because the Holy Spirit has been poured upon me. I 
walk in a prophetic grace. I walk in a prophetic unction. I walk in the prophetic in the name of Jesus. No longer confused about what next step to take. No, sir. I'm no longer confused about what to say, what to do, where to go, how to function. I walk in a prophetic grace in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that we should covet earnestly the best gifts. Can you covet that prophetic grace this morning? Can you covet it? I mean, can you really desire it? Then lift up your voice and pray. If two men who did not even come into the meeting of the tabernacle, two men who were somewhere in the camp, could receive that outpouring of the spirit. How much for you in the presence of the Lord this morning? How much for you who has come to pray this morning? How much for you that has presented yourself before God this morning? Come on, lift up your voice and say, God, I receive. Lord, I receive an outpouring of your spirit. I receive an outpouring of your spirit. Be filled afresh. Be filled afresh. I sense a new wind, a fresh wind of the Holy Spirit. And empowering you for the next season. Empowering you for the work ahead. Can you say, Lord, I receive it. I receive it. Oh, that all of God's people were prophets, that all of God's people would be prophets, that every single one of us uh, will speak to God as one speaks to a friend, uh, that we will receive God's voice uh, as one who receives the voice of his father. Let there be a refresh on my inside. Let there be a refresh on my inside. A refresh, O oh God. If his mercies are new every morning, then it's okay to rise every morning and receive a fresh inflow of the Spirit, a fresh inflow, a fresh capacitation from the place of the Spirit. Oh, that all the Lord's people were prophets. Oh, that all the Lord's people were prophets. Prophet, and that the Lord would put his spirit upon them. Oh, that all of God's people were prophets. Oh, wouldn't it be a beautiful thing if we came into our meetings? Huh? And we all received a word from the Lord, not in order for us to, 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 to have chaos in our meetings, no, but to such a degree huh, that there will be deep understanding and deep insight. We come to a place of meeting and we know what to do. As the preacher teaches, it's, a, it's, it's simply a confirmation of what God is already doing on your inside. Ah, believe me, that is the place and that is the season God is bringing us to. That we come just to minister to our God. We come just to bless his name and to just enjoy fellowship with him. That as the, as the, as the praise team sings, as a minister to us in song, it's simply a confirmation of what the Holy Spirit that is indwelling you has already begun to stir on your inside. Oh, the voice of the prophetic will be strong in this season. Can you declare that? That in the midst of us, the voice of the prophetic will be strong. The word of exhortation. The word of comfort. It will be strong in the midst of us. There will be no dryness. God's word. Oh my goodness. It will be sharp. It will be accurate in the midst of us. In the name of Jesus. Oh, that all of God's people were prophets. Oh, that all of God's people were prophets. Oh, that all of God's people would walk in the prophetic. 
Karabosia, that will not wait for someone to first receive a word from them, huh? but would know what is the heart and the mind of the Father. Rita Rabosia would be able to dimension and rightly divide the word of truth because the Spirit Himself is guiding you into all truth. Huh? Do you understand how sweet it would be if we all functioned in the prophetic grace? It means every time you sit to study the word, huh? ah, there is no tightness, there is no dryness. The, the words on the pages literally jump out and, and ignite your heart. Everyone is receiving a word of revelation. Everyone is receiving deep insight and understanding into the word. And a word that will ignite you. A word that gives you revelation. You can rev up and you can run. You can run faster. You can leap over walls. You know already what's going to happen in your industry because the Lord is discussing it with you. Oh, that all of God's people were prophets. Oh, Lord. Moses was speaking in this scripture in Numbers 11, but we see that that was exactly God's heart and God's mind for his people. Oh, if only my people, every single one of them understands the power that they have with me, the capacity that they have with me, the, 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 the audience that they have with me, that they can come before me huh, and stand, each one a son, each one a daughter, speaking face to face with the mighty God. Oh, oh, that all of God's people were prophets. Oh, that all of God's people will walk in the prophetic. That the Lord would put his spirit upon them. Someone this morning, I want to declare, huh? Father, Lord, I come to a new season in my walk with you. I come to a new season in my relationship with you. I'm not satisfied with the periphery. I'm not satisfied with the, with the level where I was. I want to come up higher. If I've never imagined you speaking to me, Lord, in this season, in this season, Lord, I ask, oh God, ah, that I too would walk in the prophetic, that I too would hear you speak to me. Let your spirit rest in me. Let your spirit live in me. Let your spirit quicken my understanding. Let your spirit quicken my hearing, oh God, that I may hear what you say, that I may discern your voice in the name of Jesus. Hey, yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Ezekiel 36. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 36 from verse 24 to 27. I'm going to read it. For I will take you from among the nations, God says, gather you out of all countries and bring you into your own land. Then I will sprinkle clean water on you. Is someone receiving clean water this morning? I will sprinkle clean water on you and you shall be clean. I will cleanse you from all your filthiness and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. Verse 27, I will put my spirit within you. So it's not just the spirit upon you. He said, I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you will keep my judgments and do them. Can I ask you to lift your voice right now and begin to pray? Father, this, this, this place of walking in the prophetic, it will not be to go back and do the things that hurt you, things that do not glorify you, things that glorify the flesh. No, sir. Father, as I walk in the prophetic in this season, I receive, oh, Father, your spirit within that will cause me to walk in the ways that please you. He says, I will put my spirit within you, and that, because my spirit is within you, it will cause you to walk in my statutes. 
statutes. God wants to empower you to do good. God wants to empower you to live right. God wants to empower you to do his will and to do his word. Can you lift up your voice and say, Father, Lord, in this season, oh God, where your word is even more real to me, where your spirit ignites me from within to understand what you are saying, you will empower me for obedience. You will empower me to obey your word. You will empower me, Father, Lord, to keep your judgments and to do them. Can you lift up your voice and pray? Lord, that our words, our meditations, our thoughts, our actions will align with you, that we will not grieve your spirit. As we receive grace, oh God, to walk in alignment with you. As we receive grace, oh God, to hear what you are saying. Oh, Father Lord, help us, God, because you are the one who works it in us, both to will and to do of your good pleasure. Work it in us, oh Daddy. Work it in us, Father. This infilling won't just be about an open show. It won't just be about a demonstration that, oh, see, God can also talk to me. No, sir. It won't be about vain babbling and vain competition. No, sir. It will be to empower us for obedience to you. It will be, Lord, so that we are empowered to walk in alignment with you. We'll be empowered to do those things that please you. We'll be empowered, oh God, to, to demonstrate Jesus to our generation. It won't be for vain glory, no, sir. It won't just be, Lord, for, for pomposity and to feel proud that we too, God can use us, no, sir. In humility of heart, oh God, we receive the infilling of your spirit, the empowerment of your spirit, oh God, to do good, to do right, because we know that everywhere Jesus went, he was doing good. Empower us, oh God, that we will always demonstrate your goodness everywhere we go. Empower us, oh God, to be representatives of Jesus everywhere we go. Empower us, oh God, to shine a light in this generation that nothing can put out, nothing can snuff out, nothing can dim this light. In the name of Jesus, can you receive this morning an empowerment from the place of the Spirit to stand tall, to stand strong. Your testimony will not be violated because of your actions. When people look at you, say, Father, Lord, they will see an alignment between my actions and my belief, my actions and my faith in the name of Jesus. An empowerment of God. We receive it. And Yes, Lord, you will put your spirit within us and you will cause us to walk in your statutes and we will keep your judgment and we will do them. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. That will be our experience. That will be our walk. We will walk the talk. We won't just talk the talk. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, you will empower us from within. You will ignite us from within. You will energize us from within. We will not be weary in well-doing. We will not be a reproach to the name of Jesus. That people will point to us and say, where is his God? Where is her God? That will not be our story. We will walk in alignment with you and you will demonstrate yourself through us. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Oh, I sense that someone in this room is asking the question. Oh, why, why should, uh, am I sure why that all of God's men would be prophets? I don't know. I just sense that someone is just doubting in their heart. And I want you to know that it will be unto you according to your faith. If you see yourself walking in the prophetic grace, 
if you see yourself moving in a prophetic unction, why will your father not give you the spirit when you ask? He's asking me to ask you the question, why will, why will your father not give you the Holy Spirit when you ask? Why won't I give you the Holy Spirit when you ask? Come on, someone, can you lift up your hands, lift up your voice and say, Lord, I receive, Lord, I receive, Lord, I receive. Lord, I receive, Lord, I receive. Lord, I receive. It has, if it has ever entered your heart, that does my father really want me to walk in this prophetic grace? Let this be your answer this morning. Your father says, why won't I give you the Holy Spirit when you ask? Yes, Father. Yes, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I'm going to read again from Joel, the book of Joel chapter 2. I quoted it earlier. I'm going to read it again. Joel chapter 2 and verse 28. It said in the Old Testament that it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Come on, someone say all means all. I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also on my men servants and on my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth. Hallelujah. Can someone just lift up your voices? Can we just pray for a moment and intercede, especially for our sons and our daughters, for the young people, for the teenagers, for the children. The Bible says out of the mouths of babes and sucklings, God has ordained praise. Can we just begin to declare that for these ones, for these ones, from their, from their childhood, from their very youth, ah, they will begin to function in a prophetic grace. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we declare it upon our children. They will walk in the prophetic. We declare over our old men, they shall dream dreams. We declare over our young men and our young women, they shall see visions. No one is exempted. No one is removed. On men servants, on maid servants, oh God, we receive an outpouring of your spirit in the name of Jesus. As Father, no one will be cut off from this this flow. No one will be excluded. No one will be missing. As Eldad and Nidad, who were in the camp, still received the Spirit. Father, this morning we ask that no one will be excluded. No one will be cut out. No one will be cut off from this flow of your Spirit, from this manifestation, oh God. Lord, we receive a manifestation no Lord in our midst upon the young children upon the older children upon the teenagers upon the young adults upon fathers and mothers upon old men and old women upon every single one oh God an outpouring of your spirit the voice of the Lord will not be scarce in the midst of us but Lord your voice the word of God will prosper in the midst of us your word will be will be will be be manifested in the midst of us. It will be mixed with faith and it will profit us in the name of Jesus. An outpouring of your spirit upon our sons and upon our daughters upon the young and upon the old, upon everyone across the full gamut of our churches, oh God. We speak it in the adult church. We speak it over the children's church. We speak it over the baby class. We speak it over teens nation. We declare it over the online church. We declare it in Nigeria, or every church, every expression across Nigeria. We speak it over the UK. We speak it over Canada and the US, every place where the Elevation Church is expressed and in every place where the Elevation church is connected, oh God. We declare it today, oh God. There'll be an outpouring of your spirit. There'll be an outpouring of your spirit to such a degree, oh God, that the prophetic will burst out in the midst of us. Lord, and it will profit us. Your word in the midst of us will prosper. Your word in the midst of us will prosper. It will prosper in the midst of us. It will profit us. It will return to you, O oh God, as a testimony. It will not be wasted. It will not be wasted. It will not 
be wasted in the name of Jesus. Your people, oh God, will ride on the wings of the prophetic. And will glorify your name. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. When you go again to the book of Acts 2, where the fulfillment of the Joel 2 scripture was shown in the book of Acts 2, when the day of Pentecost came and the disciples were gathered together in that place, and the Holy Spirit just, you know, just demonstrated himself. If you read further on from verse 5, it says that there were that there were in Jerusalem many Jews, many devout men from every nation under heaven. And when this sound occurred, because there was a sound of a mighty rushing wind, right? When this sound occurred, the multitude came together and were confused because everyone heard them speak in his own language. They were all amazed and they marveled, saying to one another, look, are not all these men Galileans? How is it that we can hear each of us? We can hear our own language as these men are talking. They talked about all the tribes, Parthians, Medes, Elamites, Mesopotamia, people from every region, possible gathered together that day and they were wondering why are we hearing our languages spoken from these men and then so they were all amazed and perplexed saying to one another whatever could this mean and in verse 13 others were mocking saying these men must be drunk but then we see in verse 14 that peter arises and then begins to speak this is what i'm going to say this is what i want us to pray about when this mighty manifestation occurred you know with the disciples that day first there was confusion then there was amazement. Then there were some who began to talk about this phenomenon and asking, what is this amazing thing going on? And then some people were jesting. And in the middle of all of that, the disciples arose as men of stature. Peter rose up and began to speak in a way he had never spoken before. Peter got up and engaged this crowd and Thousands of people gave their lives to Jesus on that very day. This is a prayer point. Father, Lord, as the outbreak of the supernatural happens in the midst of us, as the outbreak of the prophetic happens in the midst of us, Father, you will gather men and women from far and from near, and they will receive the word of Jesus. You will turn, you will use it, oh God, not just as a demonstration of power, no, 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 but Father, Lord, you will use it to draw men, you will draw all men to you, you will populate your kingdom and you will plunder hell in the name of Jesus. Can we lift up our voices and declare? As you manifest your spirit in the midst of us, as the voice of the prophetic breaks forth in the midst of us, oh God, you will cause it, oh God, to draw men to you from every nation of the world, from every land, from every tongue, from every tribe. They will come together and marvel. They will say, is this not greatness? We know her. How is it that God has done this through her tongue? How is it that God has done this in her life? And they will be convicted and they will come to Jesus. They will say it's concerning Melda. Do we not? How is it? How is it that Melda is now beginning to declare this? These strange things. These things that I never discussed with her. How is it that Deji is now beginning to declare this? How is it that Adere Mileku has now become one of the prophets? When did this happen? When did this occur? And they will be convicted and they will come to Jesus. Can we lift up our voices and begin to declare, Lord, as the prophetic breaks out in the midst of us, oh God, you will draw all men. You will draw the young. You will draw the old. You will draw the women. You will draw the men. You will draw the children. You will draw the hurting and the broken. You will draw the, the what we call important men and women of stature. You will draw them all from every tribe, from every nation. Tribes of people, they will throw into your kingdom because of the outbreak of the supernatural, because of the outbreak of the prophetic. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we will see your power manifested in this day. We will see your pro the prophetic manifested in the midst of us. In the name of Jesus, it will cause us to run, oh God. It will cause us to run with speed. It will cause us to gain ground in the name of Jesus. Peter spoke that day and they could see that he was an unlearned and unschooled man, but they couldn't deny that this man has power. 
Come on, lift up your voice and say, God, no one will be able to deny that I carry the power of the Holy Spirit. I will do those things I could not do before. Peter that denied Jesus before a little girl stood before crowds of people to declare the goodness of God. Come on, say, Have I am turned into a new man. I am turned into a new woman because of the outpouring of your spirit. I am turned into a new man. I am turned into a new woman. The things that seem so far away from me, so far removed from my experience. Lord, I will experience them now. I will walk in the prophetic. I will walk in a prophetic unction. I will walk in the prophetic in the name of Jesus. I am turned into a new woman. A woman who can confront issues, who will see demons and devils run away. Because of the depth of insight I bring to situations and problems. Pharaoh will have no choice than to make me a prime minister in my field. Because of the grace I carry, even when I'm confronted with the fiery furnace, it will not burn me. Because God wants to demonstrate his power in this season. God wants to demonstrate his power in this season. God wants to demonstrate his power in this season. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I gain ascension by reason of the prophetic. Oh, I rise up in a new stature, oh God, by reason of the unction huh, of the spirit. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We are turned into a new people. We are turned into a prophetic people. We are turned into an, in an, into an inspired people. We are turned into a bold people. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we exalt you and we bless you in Jesus' mighty name. One more prayer point, and then we'll go ahead and share testimonies. We have the Accelerate Conference. Hallelujah, the Accelerate Conference coming at the end of the month. And I just see how God is just tying in his heart and his mind all together. The conference itself is, is, is themed rev up, fill up with revelation. And as you rev, you are also gaining speed and acceleration. Can you lift up your voice and declare, Father, Lord, indeed, your revelation will, will ah, take me to a new level. We ask, Father, Lord, that that Accelerate Conference, oh God, it will be a signpost. It will be a reference point. Lord, you will invest your presence in that conference. Ah, you will draw people from near and from far to hear your word. Declare over every speaker. Declare over everyone who will minister. In song, in word, the ushers, the protocol, the, the, the traffic control people speak grace upon them. That everyone will minister. Even in the traffic control unit, everyone will minister. That the spirit of God will be in such in such full supply that in every place where a man stands to minister, where a woman stands to minister, ah, at the accelerate conference, and that there will be an endowment of power, 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 the power of the Holy Ghost. And that will be our testimony. Huh? I have the power of the Holy Ghost. Huh? Everyone from the usher to the choir member, to the sound control, to the multimedia team, everyone, communications, whatever, wherever, Lord, data management, that will be their testimony. I have the power of the Holy Ghost. I have the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father, Lord, because even from now, we begin to thank you. We thank you for the success of the Accelerate Conference. Your sons and your daughters will gain speed. We will accelerate into purpose. We will accelerate into destiny. We will accelerate into your, into, into your very wishes for this season. In Jesus' much less name we pray. Amen and amen. Come on, can someone say a big, big amen, 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 amen. Father, we thank you. We give you glory and praise. So excited for what you are doing in this season, oh God, and we do not take it for granted. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm going to go ahead and just share a few testimonies with us. Um, our brothers and sisters have shared some testimonies with us this morning. And I'm just going to go ahead and share. Hallelujah. Someone says, I'm thanking God for favor 
in getting an accommodation swiftly in less than a week after raising the prayer point on Ignite session last week. Praise the Lord. We thank God for that amazing testimony. Less than a week after raising the testimony on this prayer altar, she got um, her answer and we give God praise. Hallelujah. Another one. I've been praying for my daughter to conceive and she called to tell us that she has. Where a me she, where a me she, where a me she, where a me she, on tayero, peco she, where a me she. Oh, I'm dancing along with you, mommy. Congratulations, mommy. Hallelujah. This is how you dance at the naming ceremony. This is how you dance at the dedication service. Hallelujah. Where a lo pamiche, where a lo pamiche, on tayero, peco she, she, where a lo pamiche. And for everyone who is trusting God for the fruit of the womb, I'm going to sing this one more time. And where you are, I want you to dance prophetically. This testimony will be multiplied in the midst of us. If you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, you're standing in for someone right now. I want you to rise up where you are. If you're driving, that's okay. Just shake your head or something or lift your hand and wave it to God and just dance a dance this morning. Ah, where a love me she, where a love me she, on tie she, she. Where a lo bamiche, on tayero, peco she, she, where a lo bamiche, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I await your own testimony. Hallelujah. I await your testimony in Jesus' name. She says, and she called to tell us that she has conceived by the mercy of God. All glory to the Almighty God. And to this platform for all the prayers. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Faithful God, we bless you. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. He's a prayer answering God. Indeed, he is a prayer answering God. Hallelujah. Let me take a few more testimonies this morning and then we'll go ahead and we'll agree in prayer with our brothers and sisters who have dropped a prayer point um, for us today. On May 31, I joined these prayers. I shared a, toast, a testimony of how God saved my life during an Okada incident accident on the highway. On that day, I typed that the Lord will make me to be successful in the interview I was attending on that day. To the glory of God alone, I was selected to be a beneficiary of a filmmaker scholarship program in one of the best film schools in Africa. Backstory, this is my third attempt for this particular scholarship and God did it this time. Somebody pray. It's the Lord, ha. Huh? Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I testify concerning you. Ah, the Lord who has brought you to this place of manifestation, he will do much more, much more, much more in your life. Much more in your life. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray. What an amazing God we serve. A God who keeps covenant. A God who indeed does great and mighty things. Someone says, I thank God for an unconditional offer of admission I received yesterday. God has granted me multiple admissions in a space of about a month. I pray for wisdom and provision to go about the course and so shall it be for you in Jesus mighty name. More than enough, more than enough, more than enough. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'll take maybe two more testimonies, two more quickly, two more testimonies. At the beginning of the year, I was determined to get my hand lotions into stores in Lagos. Last month, I finally had my lotion stopped by one store. I began to question whether anyone would want to even pay for my product. I know, right? Shame on me, she says. To the glory of God, the lotions are selling out. Ah, from will they buy it to sold out? Can someone say that? That would be my testimony too. From will they buy it to sold out? From will they buy that course to sold out? From will they buy this book? To sold out. 
that will be your testimony in Jesus name. I'm here to say thank you, Jesus, for believing in me. Even when I didn't believe in myself, I decree and I declare that sold out will be my next testimony as I have found favor in one store. I will find favor in many more. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. She says, Posh Perry is becoming a household name. So shall it be for you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We put a hallelujah on it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless you, God. We bless you, hallelujah. So let's go ahead and pray and agree with our brothers and sisters who have dropped all their prayer points, lots of prayer points, you know, here with us today. Um, people trusting God for healing, trusting God for provision, Trusting that God would not just show himself strong. Can we all just lift up our voice and begin to pray in the spirit? Everyone who has dropped a prayer point on this platform today, we declare over you that the spirit of the Lord will incubate her. The one who was from the beginning. Huh? The Bible says that the spirit of the Lord hovered over the face of the deep. And then God said, huh? and then he said, let there be light. There was light. We declare, Father Lord, for everyone trusting you, there's someone here asking for total deliverance from kleptomania and adultery and trusting God for career advancement opportunities. Can we ask that the spirit of the Lord right now will begin to take away from this person's hand everything that, they, that, that, that has held them bound, kleptomania, adultery. Father, we break its backbone in the name of Jesus. We break its backbone now in the name of Jesus. Everyone trusting you for help as they start a new job. Father, we receive help for them in Jesus' name. Everyone who has a birthday today, or in this season, who is thanking you for adding a year to their lives. Father, we say thank you for your goodness. We ask, oh God, that you continue to demonstrate your faithfulness to them, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. For someone asking her, for a scholarship, Lord, we ask her, the one, oh Lord, who said no wind, no rain, yet the valley will be full. We receive for everyone asking you for any kind of financial provision right now now. Lord, huh, that you will do more than enough, more than enough in Jesus' name. Huh? Someone trusting that their form A in the bank, from a, my form A bank payment, um, that the process will be sped up. Father, Lord, we pray and we agree with your sons and daughters. Speed up whatever you need to speed up on the behalf of your sons and daughters in Jesus' mighty name. Someone is trusting God for miraculous sales in their pharmacy. And for everyone who runs a business right now, who is trusting God for miraculous sales in the month of June, we pray and we agree with you huh, that the Lord himself, huh, he, will, he, will, he will spread the word about your business and cause men and women to come in. He will cause them to come in ah, and, and, and testify of what God is doing in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, someone is trusting God for a miraculous provision for their UK admission. Father Lord, we ask her that you will, you will show yourself strong in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone says they're asked, they're trusting God for a restoration of their grades from B to A. Father, we ask, oh God, huh, that your favor will be upon their appeal in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone trusting you, Father Lord, for rent, huh, so that they will not be evicted. Father Lord, we ask that you will supply, you will supply in the name of Jesus. Ah, there's a missing person here. He says, my driver who lives with my family has gone missing since noon yesterday and has been unreachable. Please pray that he will return safe, that we will not have to file a missing person's report on his case. Father Lord, we ask today, oh God, that wherever he is, whatever it is that may have held him down somewhere, Lord, we speak a release over him in the name of Jesus. We speak a release concerning him in the name of Jesus. Put this family's mind at ease, put their minds at rest, that he will be found safe and sound in the name of Jesus. Someone is praying for their son, saying, Father, please cause him to be more focused. Help him to pay attention and to develop well. Lord, we speak this over all of our children who may right now be dealing with some attention, you know, deficit, Lord. Father, we ask that you will move over them 
help them, oh God, help us to create the right environment, the conducive environment that helps our children to focus and to be settled. We ask, Father Lord, that if we are in the way, we are the ones getting in the way of our children, we repent today. Give us wisdom on how to help our children, to help our children to focus well and to excel in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for provisions for, fam for family projects. Thank you for conception, oh God. Thank you for favor. Thank you for great reports in the mighty name of Jesus. For everyone trusting you for direction in this season, Lord, we receive it. And upon every single request that has been brought before you today, mighty God, we thank you, Lord, for the stirring of your spirit. Thank you, mighty God, because you will move on the behalf of your sons and daughters. Indeed, oh God, upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. And so we declare, Father Lord, a mighty deliverance in Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen and amen and amen hallelujah can you just go ahead and lift up your voice and say thank you god thank you god thank you god to the prayer answering god to the faithful god to the mighty god the one who does exceeding mighty things can you just go ahead and say thank you father thank you lord because we know that your word is settled your word settles it and we give you glory and we give you praise in jesus matchless name we pray Amen and amen. Does someone want to say hallelujah? Amen and amen. Thank you all so much for joining this morning, for joining in this prayer hour. Thank you for delighting daddy's heart. Our father is excited to have had this time with you. And I ask that as you go on throughout the day, don't forget, he's a, he's a very present help in times of need. He's right with you every second of the day. Don't forget that he's right with you in the midst of all you are going through, in the midst of where you stand up, all that comes at you. Your father is with you and he wants to maintain a connection with you. Hallelujah. Um, make sure that you block out your dates for Accelerate. Hallelujah. Later this month, Accelerate. It promises to be an amazing time in God's presence. Tomorrow, switch. Don't forget, um, switch 6.30 tomorrow. We fast and pray on Wednesdays. So please fast. Um, just, just set yourself apart. Be extra sensitive to hear what God is saying to you and you will hear him clearly in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Testimonies. I mean, I couldn't read every single testimony this morning. If you have a testimony that um, I wasn't able to read, I appeal to you. I please appeal. Send it in. Send it to testimonies email to our email address, testimonies at elevationng.org. And we'll be excited to partner with you to just have someone hear about the amazing things that God is doing in your life. Hallelujah. Um, our counselors are always available. Um, if in case you still need to speak to someone after this meeting, please reach out to our counselors. Someone is waiting to just help you walk with you through that tough challenge and help you until you see the manifestation of what you're trusting God for. Um, we like to close our meetings declaring Psalm 1, verses 1, 2, and 3 over ourselves. So let's go ahead and just declare it as a prophecy over our day. Don't forget you're walking in the prophetic. So prophesy over your day. Hallelujah. Let's go. Psalm 1, verses 1, 2, and 3. I am like a tree planted by the rivers of living water. I bring forth my fruit in my season. My leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever I do prosper. That's an abridged one today, abridged confession today. Hallelujah. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. God bless you. Hallelujah.